Happy New Year, my loves. I know it's been forever since I was on here. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you might have an idea of why this has been. But before I continue, this week's and year's first transformation is this beautiful bed sheet that I got from Toy Market as usual. I wish I got a pair so I could work on another amazing piece with the same print, but there was only one. That I transformed to this beautiful number that I'm so in love and obsessed with. So if you'd like to see how this came about, then just keep watching. Now, last year was one of its own. The last couple of months, especially, were the toughest for me, having lost two people whose deaths were so sudden and was in mourning majority of the last half. But all in all, grateful to God for everything and even more happy and excited to be back and cannot wait to share the new content, which is a lot that I've worked on during this period. Now to begin, I spread out the sheet and folded it twice, then traced out my circular bottom pattern and proceeded to cut it out. I then took the remaining piece and marked my front bodies, then cut it out. Next, I flipped the remaining piece to have the wrong side up and traced my back body space and cut it open in the middle. Next, I marked my darts for all pieces. I then proceeded to cut a rectangular sheet on fold and put it aside. I secured all the dots and hemmed the top section using my favorite pattern stitch for all three pieces. Next, I hemmed the center sections of the back pieces like so and proceeded to join them together using loose running stitches. I then stitched the front and back pieces together on both sides. Next, I opened the back center where we'd used loose running stitches and placed it aside. I then hemmed the open ends of the circular bottom. Next, I pinned this to the bodies like so and proceeded to stitch it down.
I then installed this invisible zip off camera and proceeded to put this lining and net for that slight poof effect. Next I hemmed the bottom one fold and pressed it then placed it aside. I then took the rectangular piece we'd cut initially and ironed gum on it, then sew the open edges with the wrong side facing up and inverted it, then stitched the open side close. This piece would make the bow and I didn't want it too droopy, hence the gum. I then marked my middle and stitched loose running stitches by hand then made a drawstring which I pulled and tied for the bow. Next I sewed these two tacks on the inner section of the bow and matched it against the patterns on the dress ensuring the measurements are exact so that the bow matches the stretch perfectly. I also cut a strip from the top section of the remaining bedsheet piece that would act as my necktie and with that I was all done. Here's the final look that is insanely cute to me and I think would be worn to many different events. Let me know if you agree and if this is a piece you'd want to add to your closets. I am so excited to share the next pieces in this collection that I've worked on during my time away and also wanted to say thank you so much to those who reached out to check in and to check on more uploads. Those messages literally just lift my spirits and truly melt my heart. I'm going to stop here and wish you all a wonderful time wherever you are. Bye loves!